Our model is based on four key factors that the research shows have a strong influence on the performance of organizations. First comes mission. Do you know where you're going? Is the direction clear? Is there a strategy, a vision, and some goals and objectives that are clear throughout the organization? Second one is adaptability. Are you listening to the marketplace? Are you focused on the customer, translating changes in the marketplace into action, and learning as you go? Bottom half of the model has two factors, involvement and consistency. Uh, on the involvement side, we're concerned with how well you can empower people, how well you can build teams, and how well you can build the essential capability, the human capability that's the foundation of any organization. The fourth factor is consistency. Have you built the foundation for success? Are you building systems that create the coordination you need, the capacity to reach agreement, and are anchored in a set of core values? That's an overview of the model that we work with. The 60 questions that make up the survey uh, and this model are used to create a profile that's a benchmark for your organization uh, against a global sample of a thousand organizations. <clears throat> In this example that we have, the 100-year-old manufacturing company, you can see the results. The simple way to interpret these profiles is that more color is better. Um, anybody can get that part. The numbers on the chart are the percentile score. So for example, when you see a vision score of nine uh, in this 100-year-old manufacturing company, what that means is that 91% of the companies in the benchmark sample globally scored higher than this particular organization. So as you can see, this is an organization that's managed with goals and objectives, not much vision, not much strategy. Um, they're not very responsive to the marketplace. They're not very adaptable. They're not very dynamic. There was a time in the past when they were, but those days are gone. The strongest part of their results is in the area of consistency. They report high scores on core values, on reaching agreement, and are well coordinated and integrated. But what that also reflects is a system that's better suited to managing the past than it is for the future. When I asked them about core values, they said, yes, we've got the perfect set of core values to meet the challenges of the past, not of the future. So, and you can see then in the fourth area, involvement, uh, strong team orientation um, but very little empowerment and very little capability. Um, when I ask them about team orientation, is they said, yes, we're a team going down together um, because they won't make decisions on their own. There's not much accountability. Uh, there's not a lot of capability uh, there as well. So this describes an organization that's their glory days are in the past. Um, they still have a lot of strengths, but they're so detached from the marketplace, so unclear about their strategy for the future, and have so much momentum and inertia from the past that it's a real struggle uh, for them to survive for the future. So that gives you an idea of how the culture survey and our assessment process gives you a good picture of the relationship between the performance of the business, um, and the character of the organization, because what our research has shown is those two things are always closely related. The reason that there's a close connection between the culture profile and the performance of the business is that this model grew out of a long stream of research on how the culture of the organization influences the performance of the business. I just want to take a minute to give you an overview of some of that research so that you see the background. Uh, in, in general, what we find uh, is that culture is a good predictor of business performance. Growth comes when you have a strong sense of mission and a nimble sense of adaptability. Operating performance on the bottom half of the model um, is usually more closely related to involvement and consistency. On the left-hand side of the model, adaptability and involvement usually lead to an innovative organization that satisfies its customers. And on the right-hand side of the model, mission and consistency usually give you st stable performance over the long run. 